When Maharaj Bharat became a deer, in the body of a deer, he was able to remember his past life. That he was the emperor of the whole world. Hmm? And because of that reason in the body of the deer, he went back again to that same ashram where the rishis were practicing Krishna consciousness. There he went and he gave up his body there. Then he came as Jad Bharat. Hmm? So the Lord's sanction in the Lord's hand has to be there. And here it was the will of the Supreme Lord. That's why Gajendra was able to remember his past life. <clears throat> So this is the unique position of a devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He welcomed the course and because the devotee is always aware that anything and everything happens in his life happens by the will of the Supreme Lord. Here the word Upadharayan means, in this verse, the word, the word Upadharayan means considering, uh, this is a very significant word here, Upadharayan. This indicates that the devotee knows what is what. What is the situation of this material world? He understands very clearly. Hmm? If he's a devotee in good knowledge, good understanding, then he knows that this has happened by the will of the Supreme Lord. <clears throat> now, although the king was not at fault, here, the king was not at, not at fault. Hmm? Prabhupada is writing this, I'm not saying this. And when this happened, the king... <clears throat> the king considered it to be his past misdeeds. He did not think that Agastya Rishi has cursed me. He thought that this has happened because of my past deeds. My past misdeeds. Hmm? This is the practical example how devotee takes a certain incident in one's life. Hmm? Now, <clears throat> If a devotee has to suffer reactions of his past misdeeds, past misdeeds, what does the Supreme Lord do? The Supreme Lord arranges for him to be to be given in a small token of these reactions. If there is something big has to happen, then it will happen in a small tokens, and very soon he'll be freed from the reactions of these material contaminations. Hmm? Now, actually, Agastya Muni cursing Indra Dumna was on behalf of Lord Hari. Hmm? He was cursing in Indra Dhumna Vanachari on behalf of Lord Hari. It was Lord's desire that he was cursing Indra Dhumna. Hmm? And one should therefore, Prabhupada is writing, one should therefore adhere to devotional service. In any situation of life, one should continue in any unfortunate circumstances of life also, one should continue is practicing Krishna consciousness enthusiastically hmm? by fo regularly following the regulatory principles and especially the principles of Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam. Hmm? Hearing about the past tense of the Lord, reading Srimad Bhagavatam and speaking about its glories. So one should always remain absorbed in the service of Bhagavatam, service of the Supreme Lord. <clears throat> in any unfortunate situation in the life as well, hmm? one should not give up. <clears throat> Now, similar was the situation with Chitraketu Maharaj. Hmm? Chitraketu Maharaj, <coughs> who was his spiritual master? The great Narad Muni. Hmm? Narad Muni gave him the mantra, and by the power of that mantra, Narad Muni was, by the power of that Chitraketu Maharaj was able to achieve great advancement very, at a very short time. He not only achieved the position of a Vidyadhar, but also he got darshan of Lord Anantadev in person. And because of that, what happened? As soon as Maharaj Chitraketu saw Lord Supreme Lord, he, he was cleansed of all material contamination and was situated in original Krishna consciousness. Hmm? He was completely cleansed hmm, of his contamination. But this Chitraketu Maharaj who was given a plane by Lord Vishnu himself. He was traveling in that plane and it happened that he went through Kailash. Hmm? And while he was traveling through the mountain Kailash, he saw a very unusual scene. He saw that his very dear friend Lord Shiva, now he was a very dear friend of Lord Shiva. In Lord Shiva in his, pray, uh, in his talks to Parvati also, he says that Chitraketu is my friend because he's a very dear devotee of Lord Anantadev. Sankarshana is... That's why he's like my god brother. Hmm? He's very very dear to me. Hmm? <clears throat> so this was not known to Parvati ji. And Chitraketu Maharaj, he was jokingly 
he actually glorified lord shiva hmm? that you are a, you are such a self controlled person hmm? you are a sampra, you are an acharya of a sampradaya hmm? but but how great is you that you that parvati is sitting on your lap and you are speaking krishna katha ha huh? this he is less he is giving a lesson to the grahasthas that grahasthas oh my dear grahasthas although you are married but please continue speaking krishna katha hmm? this is a lesson which lord shiva is giving to the grahastha is an acharya hmm? so chitraketu maharaj was actually what was he doing he was jokingly glorifying hmm? his friend shiva hmm? like there are two friends hmm? might be that one is married one is brahmachari hmm? and the wife don't know that this brahmachari is a very good friend of my husband very intimate friend of my husband and this brahmachari hmm, he jokes with that grahastha hmm, in front of the wife hmm. and the wife gets offended hmm. so this was a situation here the parvati mata ji got offended and parvati mata ji said mr chitraketu you don't know who is lord shiva hmm. you don't know his glories chitraketu mara said to himself i know his glories very well He is my friend. I I know his glories. You are not fit to be in that position of a Vaishnava. Ah, Chitrakutu Maharaj was amazed, and he said, "You should go and take birth as a demon." Hmm. And Chitrakutu Maharaj here accepted this curse. Hmm. It is said <coughs> that Shukadev Goswami says, "Iti Bhagavato Devya Prati Shabtum Alantam." ग्लोरी they will never curse anybody and if they if the curse comes on them they will accept it very happily now see even after he is becoming a demon his devotion his devotion will be unaffected his prema of the lord will be unaffected hmm? so vishwanath chakravarti thakur he says in his madhurya kadambini that Chitra Ketu never offended Lord Shiva. Actually, from external vision, it might have seemed that there is an offense, but it actually it is not an offense. Hmm? And <clears throat> Vishnu Acharya Thakur says that that the curse actual the curses actually do not take proper effect on the like uh, on this great souls like Chitra Ketu Maharaj or devotees. Hmm? What happens hmm? <clears throat> that? Chitraketu did not lose his spiritual wealth, which is he was his prema for the supreme lord. He did not lose. Similar what the situation with Indra Dumna. Hmm? Indra Dumna did not lose his spiritual wealth, prema. Hmm? That same thing continued in the body of elephant, and when he was in a difficult situation, the lord he was lovingly offering prayers, and the supreme lord came. Hmm? So this is. the life of indradhyumna chitraketu 